Morning, morning, Laura. Morning, Ali. Morning. Oh, we I set you up a little bit there, didn't we? At the moment. I'm busy. Ali, I'm up at Loch Lomond playing golf. I can't get to Tottenham today. So. <laughs> no, no, listen, mate. Have a word with Daniel. He's not expecting you on Wednesday or Thursday, no. mate. You've got a couple <laughs> well, of days. I'll get back by then, for sure. The, the, only problem, <laughs> the, the only problem is Spurs fans would have... You may be taking Willie out the locker room as your assistant, Harry. There may be a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> Willie's here today, so uh, I'll be having a, having a cup of tea with him. Good <laughs> man. We'll tell him, give him our best wishes, mate. I was going to say last night, Harry, I mean... It, it was just a matter of time, was it? It was no real surprise in news. I think we spoke earlier on. It was a very strange statement that he made. It was as if, you know, he was, he was wanting it to end. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, as you say, it was it was inevitable, really, wasn't it? He went back to Italy and you thought, well, he probably won't be coming back again. But I'm a bit surprised. I mean, yeah, it looks to me now as uh, I thought Pochettino is there, he's available you know, lives not far away and, you know, not working at the moment. He looked an obvious choice to me that they would slip him in now with 10 games to go and try to make that Champions League spot. But not giving it to him now, I'm not sure now, you know, whether the end of the season they would, you know, that they've obviously got reservations mm-hmm. maybe about taking him back again. He, he suddenly doesn't become a red-hot favourite in my eyes now after after not give, take, giving him it to, like today, you know? Do you think, Harry, do you think... Daniel Levy was maybe caught in the hop a little bit because normally listen you know the game better than I'll ever know it but normally when a manager is getting the sack the board or whoever it may be in charge can see it coming and they've got something lined up do you think yeah. he was maybe, the, 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 the speed and uh, Jim Conti's statement maybe left him in the lurch a little bit and he, he, he really I'm not saying didn't know what to do but didn't have time to prepare something else yeah, it seems. I mean, as you say, when you look at the previous, you know, when they've made changes, Mourinho was in there the day after yeah. Pochettino was gone. Next morning, 8 o'clock, Mourinho's been announced, you know. So they'd obviously got everything in place, all done. But this time, it looks like they've been left in, in the lurch a little bit and not sure quite where to turn. So they've obviously given it to, to the guys that are there and hoping they can do the job to the end of the season and then they'll make a decision as to who they bring in. But as I say, with Poch being Pochettino being available, you'd have thought, well, if they really wanted him, why not just bring him in now? But as I say, I'm not, not so sure now. They've got Everton next. That game's at Goodison Park. We've, we've got it live on TalkSport, actually, for um, our listeners. Do you expect yeah. a, a difference in this team straight away from the, the individuals that perhaps weren't playing to their potential? No, I don't, Laura. Not really. No, I, I don't think that... Uh, I mean, there's, the coach is there. He's probably doing as much of the work as Conte is. You know, Ryan Mason's around the place. I don't, I don't see a big no. I think he'll be the. You know, they'll still be the same. They'll, they'll have great days and they'll, they'll be fantastic. And they'll, they'll have days. They're short in, in two or three areas to be, a, uh, to be where they want to be. And they need to bring in a couple of players that can make the difference to them. Uh, and t- until they get those players in, I think we'll see them quite inconsistent to the end of the season and maybe creeping into fourth place is not impossible. They've still got a great chance of doing that. But no, I don't see, you know, it's the same voice really that they've had. I know Conti's not there, but as I say, he's right hand man and his assistants are still around. So no, I, I wouldn't see. That's a tough game to, you know, Everton will get, Everton will be after him. They'll get yeah. stuck in. They'll be, you know, Sean Dyche will say, listen, let's get Munster. He's right from the first whistle. And, and you know, it's whether they're, whether they're up for it or not. But, uh, it, and it's it's hard, you know, and they all got tired with the same brush, really, with Conti's statement. And it's unfair. Mm. How can you have, when you've got people like Harry Kane, how can you accuse him of, you know, being, you know, not working hard enough or not having a good attitude. I mean, incredible, incredible professionals. And there's, I'm sure most of the lads there are, they're just, they're just short in certain areas to make them a top team, I think. Harry, I know it will be really different for most situations when, when managers are let go and you have this agreement to, to walk away. But can you kind of give us an idea a little bit of how it goes, what, what the process is like, what you have to go through? No, I suppose they'll just come to a. They come to a deal with him. They say, look, we, you know, whatever he's got left on his contract. If they've let, if they've decided to pull the plug, then they'll come. They'll, they'll pay him his money. Whether they pay, they'll probably pay him up front if it's only, uh, you know, a few months. I suppose to the end of the season. And um, but no, they'll sort it out with him. He'll agree to whatever, um, and and they'll agree not to probably he'll have a clause in there where he can't say anything detrimental about the club, and if he <coughs> won't get his money. So they, they just part their ways. Probably go back to Italy now, and 
manage next year was seeing for sure, you know, Juventus, Milan, somewhere, yeah. um, popping up and doing a great job again. Harry, just a quick one before you go, mate. Um, on Harry Kane, I know he's very much his own man, but yeah. you, do you think there's a better chance of him signing a new deal if somebody like Pochettino come back to the club, or do you think he'll, that, won't be infl- that would not influence him at all? It could do, Ali. I mean, I think, you know, he got on well with, with Pochettino, but um, no, he'd be weighing up his options now. Does he... Does he want to move? Who comes in? Man City doesn't like it's going to happen. It won't happen now with Haaland. Man United could be a possibility or something for him. I wouldn't see him going abroad. I think if he's going to move, it'll be to another English club. Yeah. I mean, even Arsenal have been mentioned, but I can't ever see that happening. You know, I mean, that would be a difficult one, wouldn't it? Although I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure Laura wouldn't mind having him up front at Arsenal. <laughs> <No. you know? laughs> Not at all. Welcome him with open arms. I'll pick him up myself. <laughs> um, Harry, thanks. Enjoy the golf. Enjoy it. Swing slow, mate. See you guys. See you later. Beautiful Take care. Day, Ali. The sun is not a cloud in the sky. Ah, oh, mate. Enjoy it. Beautiful. Got me jealous, mate. Enjoy. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.